Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be introducing a concept known as the invisible hand. With that said, let's get into it. So the invisible hand is an important concept in economics, and it was first introduced by Adam Smith in his 1759 book, The Theory of Moral Sentiments, and then later popularized by his 1776 book, The Wealth of Nations. In this video, we will discuss what the invisible hand is, how it works, and why it's important. So the invisible hand is a metaphoric concept that refers to the self-regulating nature of the marketplace. According to Adam Smith, when individuals pursue their own self-interest, they unintentionally benefit society as a whole. In other words, the actions of individuals in the marketplace are guided by an invisible hand that results in the efficient allocation of resources and the optimal outcome for society. Now, I think it'd be helpful to understand this concept with an example. Suppose that there's two coffee shops in a city and one coffee shop charges a higher price for their coffee while the other charges a lower price. Well, the customers in the city will naturally flock to the coffee shop that offers the lower price and the coffee shop that charges the higher price will eventually go out of business. In this example, the invisible hand guides the behavior of the customers and ensures that the coffee shop with the lower price is more successful. The invisible hand also applies to the production of goods and services. So when there is a high demand for a particular product, businesses will invest in the production of that product to meet the demand. As a result, the price of the product will decrease and more people will be able to afford it. This process ensures that the resources are efficiently allocated to meet the needs and wants of society. The invisible hand is not a physical force that controls the economy, but rather a concept that describes the way in which businesses and individuals interact in the marketplace and it creates the best outcome for society. The concept of invisible hand is often used to justify a laissez-faire approach to economics where the government plays a limited hands-off approach to regulating the marketplace. Now this might seem a little bit confusing, but to summarize, the invisible hand is an important concept in economics and it describes the self-regulating of the marketplace. When individuals and businesses pursue their self-interest, they unintentionally benefit society as a whole. The invisible hand ensures that resources are efficiently allocated and that the needs and wants of society are met. Understanding this concept is essential for anyone who wants a deeper understanding into how the economy works, specifically how marketplaces work. If you found this short video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.